Hey best friends, welcome back to my channel. So hey, you made it to part two of this tutorial or demonstration, whatever you wanna call it, you on part two. You feel me? So this is what the wig look like. She looks good. And this is what it looks like on me. It looks better, you feel me? So yes, let's do this little install because I got a new product. All right, you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do an install with the Yaki Straight 28 inch unit with HD lace. So I already customized this wig. If you wanna see how I did it, um, I will leave a video down below for you guys or in the eye bar, whatever. So today, <laughs> I have some new even. Oh my God, okay, so. Facebook friends, you guys on Facebook told me to try the black can. So the beauty supplies does not have this. So I had to order this off of Amazon. So that supposedly, I seen some reviews and people was like, it's waterproof. I highly doubt that. But it says it's extreme firm hope, supreme, fast drying, no residue or buildup, 20 times holds, sweat resistant. We shall see. So I'm gonna go ahead and prep my stocking cap and then we're gonna apply this. Using this type of spray to apply your wigs is super easy and super fast. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take my Ruby Kisses in the shade 16. I'm gonna put this all over my stocking cap. It's tinted under there. So this is what the hairline looks like. She looks the guts. Okay, it's gonna work from side to side. So, I'm gonna shake this up. So I'm gonna pull this down and I'm gonna just spray. Okay, so now that this side is down, we're gonna do the middle and then the side. Okay, so since it's like 80% dry, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my rat tail and just, you see like this area right here, this is stuck down, so I'm gonna etch it out with the tail of the comb. And make sure I do that for the entire hairline. And this side is good. All right, done. So I'm gonna make a slit right here, down the middle. And then I am going to pin the baby hairs back. That lace looks so good, okay. Boom, okay. Now, I over bleached right here, so we're gonna correct that after we're done. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did on this side to this side. Okay, so now that the baby hairs are done, I'm gonna go in with the even spray, spray my hairline, and wrap it down with an elastic band. Okay, 
okay, okay, okay, okay. So I know y'all looking like, girl, what? Like, where, what happened to your wig? So let me tell y'all a little quick little what happened. All right, so I used the even spray and it stayed on for four days, right? It was lifting in certain areas, but it stayed on, it stayed down, right? The night that I was filming, my little my boo was here, right? And I went I went to the kitchen to get something out the kitchen. I, and usually I walk around my house with uh with Crocs or socks or what, whatever type of house shoes I usually walk around the house. So this particular day, I don't know what was going on with me, but I didn't have nothing on my feet. It was just bare feet and wood. I ended up stepping on a, a glass shard, a piece of glass. And girl, <laughs> that was the most tra traumatic situation ever because my foot was literally bleeding a lot. And I thought maybe like it stabbed me and came out, you feel me? But no, it did not. It actually stabbed me and broke in my foot so that night i ended up i stopped recording and i ended up you know uh going to sleep or whatever like that and i was thinking to myself maybe it just like i said maybe it just stabbed me let me fix this chair there we go maybe it just stabbed maybe it just stabbed me and you know my foot is healing that piece of glass that piece of glass that's as thin as a piece of string had other plans for me so I was I came into my workroom and I intended to do customer orders and to record YouTube the following day okay and let me tell you I was like let me try to put some pressure on that foot it's my right foot at that and I went and I tried to put pressures right here I was standing up right here going through my little hair closet and it just felt like somebody just stabbed me in my foot so I said Ugh. No, and mind you, I had a full day. I was doing installs. My my friend Janisha, the girl with the bob that I just posted, I did that wig that day. And um, you, if you see that video, you see the wig is still on because I was wearing the wig. And um, yeah, so I had a full day. I was like, okay, I could get through this day. I'm hopping. I'm on my tippy toes. I'm hopping because it happened at the, the the middle of my foot. Right, I'm flat-footed, so my foot is gonna fit. My feet is gonna feel everything because I'm so flat-footed. So uh, I did my, my I did uh, YouTube that day. I did uh, Janisha's hair that day. You know, I, I prepped customers' orders that day. Took my butt to the hospital, <laughs> and I walked into the hospital limping, everything, trying not to put pressure on my foot because it hurt so bad. And I was like, I went to the ER, and I was like, uh. I need help. I have glass in my foot. They looking at me like, girl, you in here for that? Like, yes, I tried everything. I tried soaking my foot. I tried everything to get it out and it just would not come out. It was too deep, right? So um, they take me into the ER or whatever like that. And um, basically I have to get a shot in my foot and it stung like, oh my goodness, it stung. If you ever had to get something removed from your foot to numb it it stung so bad i literally screamed oh my goodness but um yeah so they took a little scalpel and they shaved off the area of my foot so it's like a little hole in the bottom of my foot which means i cannot put pressure on my feet as of yet she did get the glass out okay i have crutches okay i am hopping okay so <laughs> It was a traumatic past four days. I, I'm just gonna say that. So that's the reason why um, I couldn't really do the ending of that video. But we're gonna do the ending now. So I'm gonna put the wig back on for you guys. And then we're gonna just do the end cap. But what I'm going to tell you is that that even black spray did last for about four days. Is it waterproof? Is it sweat proof? I don't sweat on my face. So I can't tell you if it's sweat proof or not. But as far as waterproof, I was taking showers, I took baths and stuff like that. And my wig was lifting. I don't know if it was because of the steam or just because of wear, but it was lifting. Um, it's nothing special from the black can to the red can to the yellow can. To me, they all work the same, but until then, I am going to put this wig on. So that was a quick little story time. Okay. <laughs> so I didn't even wash the wig. I just flat ironed it back to make it look back flowy. Um, my hairline is still set the way that it was that first day that I put this on. So we just gonna go ahead and put her back on and spray her down.
Okay, so the wig is on. She on. So now I'm gonna do my baby hairs and then I'm gonna wrap her down with my elastic band. I look cute. <laughs> okay, and this is my wig. Okay. She looks really good. I really love this hair texture. I so love this hair texture. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. I will leave everything that I use in this video down below in the description box, best friend, okay? And until next time, bye best friend.